What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be melting down a bunch of soda can tops and pouring that molten aluminum into ingots. I have a bunch of them. If you guys missed last week's video where I melted down the cans, definitely check that video out when you're done this one. What I have here is 600 soda can tops. Some are cut on the outside of the can like that one, and some are cut on the inside of the can like this one. In today's melt, I'm going to use my largest crucible, which is a number six. I'll be able to fit a lot of tops into this one, and the melt should go much faster than if I was to use a smaller crucible. This definitely is not the first time I'm melting down soda can tops. So if you haven't seen those videos and you'd like to see those, definitely go back in my videos and check those out. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Vivor 12kg double burner furnace. If you'd like to get one for yourself, I have an affiliate link in the description below. While the furnace is heating up, I'm going to load some old soup cans with more can tops. This will allow me to safely and easily put more can tops into the crucible without burning myself. Did forget to mention I'm going to be using a pair of grilling tongs to grab the can. Right, guys this is what we have left for the soda can tops three more cans filled up to the top and the remaining on the table Here are the remaining soda can tops I have in 
side of the soup cans are ready to go. So I'm going to turn off the fuel and get this loaded into the crucible. Well, before I do that, I'm going to move around some of this slag that's on top of the molten aluminum below. And there's quite a bit of slag in here. I'll be removing all of this slag after I melt down the remaining soda can tops. And here is the final can for today's melt. wondering what I'm doing. I'm just preheating the crucible tongs before using them. I'm also preheating the ingot mold to remove any moisture that's inside. Now that it's been some time and all of the soda can tops are melted, it's now time to remove that slag from the top of the molten aluminum before pouring. And surprisingly, there is a lot of slag from just the can top. I could expect this much from the can itself, but not the can top. Again, as I said in the beginning, I just recently melted down the soda cans that these tops were from. So definitely check that video out when you're finished this one. I'm now going to let this sit for about five minutes before removing it from the mold. After removing some of the slag from inside the crucible, I still had a little bit of molten aluminum left over. So I'm just going to pour that into this mold here. Alright guys, a couple hours later and these are now dry and cooled off. This is what I got from today's melt. So like always guys, let's get a weigh in on how much weight of good aluminum I got out of 600 soda can tops. 514 grams, 18.1 ounces, and 1.13 pounds. And now let's get a weigh in on the slag because there was quite a bit of it. Now 
Now, if my math is correct, I got 58% of good aluminum from all those can tops. And that's not really a great yield, is it? But nonetheless, I had fun doing it and I'm going to add those ingots to my stack of ingots on my shelf. Now, if you guys like this video and want to help the channel out, definitely smash that like button and leave a comment below.